Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial for Auto Whiteboard. So, what is Auto Whiteboard? It is a tool that turns your own drawing. For example, this is a drawing I did into whiteboard animation like this. Although there are many whiteboard templates on market, you are limited by the amount of graphics they provided. What if you want to do the artwork by yourself and create a unique whiteboard animation with it? Then this tool is perfect for you. Now you can draw anything and turn it into whiteboard animation easily. Auto Whiteboard gives you 62 drawing tabs with different pens or erasers. You can draw or write with a marker, a pen, or even chalk and erase it. There's no limit for you. All these presets are included in the package. The other benefit is that it can be installed to any After Effects projects at any time. So you don't need to worry about the issue of merging the projects, which could be seen very often when using templates. In this tutorial, I'll show you some examples and tricks. So let's get started. The first step, installation. After downloading the package, you can save it to your local drive. In my case, I just leave it at the desktop. You may save it anywhere on your computer. In the package, find the autowhiteboard.gxxbin file and put it into this folder called Script UI Panels. Then start After Effects, create a new project, or open an existing project if you already have created a project. In my case, I just save this new project and go to Edit, Preference, General. Make sure Allow Scripts to Write Files and Access Network is checked. Then go to Window, find autowhiteboard.jsxbin and click it. Now you see the panel. Here's the last step, Install Presets. Click the Install Presets button and navigate to the package. Choose the Install Presets folder and hit OK. Now you got an alert and you can see the preset folder here, meaning the installation is done. Alright, after the installation, let's take a look at the first example. I will show you a basic example first, then I will introduce a couple tricks to enhance it. In After Effects, hit Ctrl I to import an image. It can be any image. In my case, I did a drawing in Photoshop and saved it as a PNG image. You can create your own drawings and import them into After Effects. Create a new composition, give it a name. Drag the image into the composition. Now, the first step is to click this first Create Mask button. Now your image is wrapped by a new composition with a transparent blue mask layer on top. Make sure the mask layer is selected, then use the Pen tool to draw a mask. Make sure to get the mask layer selected. Otherwise, when using the Pen tool, it will create a shape layer, which is not what we want. So let me hit Ctrl Z to undo it, and select the mask layer, and draw a mask around the edge of the character. When drawing the mask, make sure there are no curved lines, because the curved lines are not supported by the script. Now click the second button. You will find that the blue mask layer is gone, and the mask is transferred to the image. Now the next step is to select a brush tab on the left drop-down list. In this case, I will choose a marker and select a draw tab on the right drop-down list. In this case, I will choose M2, hard edge, thin horizontal. So I should have an animation with a marker pen drawing the image with thin stroke in horizontal direction. Select the layer first. Let's hit the third button, which is the apply button. If I hit space on my keyboard to preview it, let's see what happens. I got this marker is planar animation, exactly what I was expecting. Isn't it cool? Now, what if I tell you that you already have full controls of this animation? Open the composition and click the speed control layer. In effects control panel, the default value is 250, but you may drag it to change the drawing speed. Now you can change it to a bigger value to make it drawing faster. Or you can change it to a smaller value to make it slower. In real life, it is speeding up the drawing process, so you may want to keep it relatively higher. I will use 230 for this one. The other thing you can change is the shadow. 
click the image sequence layer. In effects control panel, you can find the shadow settings. Feel free to change the parameters to get the ideal result you want. The last thing you can change is the scale. You can hit S on the image sequence layer and drag the slider to get the hand scale up and down without changing the animation. OK, let's go back to the parent composition and take a look at the final result. Awesome, you got it. You can take any image and repeat this process, and you will get a decent result. See how easy it is? But this is just the basics. Now let me introduce some tricks to make your work even professional. The first trick is to use multiple layers. Let's take the same image as an example. Let's repeat the first step by clicking the first button, with the blue mask layer selected. Instead of drawing one big mask around the character, we are going to draw a couple small masks. So the first mask we are drawing is his body. The second mask is the handle. And the third mask is the net. Make sure the masks cover the entire image. With multiple masks created, let's hit the second button. Now, instead of getting one layer, you got three layers. Each of them has a mask on it. The benefit of creating multiple masks is that you can choose different drawing type for each mask. For example, we choose the horizontal drawing for the body. Choose one line 45 degree for the handle. Because it is one straight line but 45 degree up. And choose 45 degrees for the net. Now, if we hit the spacebar to preview, three hands are drawing at the same time. We need to stagger them a bit to make sure they are drawing in sequence. So here comes this magic button. Select all the compositions and hit the button. Let's take a closer look. The composition is sequenced one by one, which is perfect. Let's take a look how it looks like. So, with multiple masks, it gives the drawing more subtle details and makes it more realistic. Here's another example of using multiple masks. This is one image with many characters. We can draw a mask for each character and choose a draw type for it. So repeat the same process. Hit the first button. Draw masks for each character. Hit the second button. Choose the draw type for each layer and apply. Lastly, sequence the layers. And let's take a look. OK, you can see how easily we can create so many animations and how natural this drawing feels by giving it multiple masks with different drawing types. The second trick is to use multiple layers. Here I got a Photoshop file. It has a couple layers, including the line art, the color, and some other stuff like butterfly and the text. We can import this PSD file into After Effects as a composition, retain layers. Open the composition, you can see all the individual layers. Now you can create a mask or multiple masks for each layer and sequence them using the same way. Then it's about repeating the same process for each layer. The only thing you need to pay attention when it comes to draw the text, no matter it is English or Chinese or Latin, the best way to do it is to draw it vertically. So choose a vertical direction. That way it will go from one character to the next, and it looks natural in most cases. Just a small tip. OK, let's go back to the parent composition and take a look at the final result. The third trick is to play with different brushes. Use a blackboard texture background and try this chalk brush. Erase it with a blackboard eraser. Same process, different results. Now, the last tip, try different hand gestures. In the precise folder, you may find the footage folder. 
you can drag footage like A and B directly into the composition and make some interesting hand gestures with it. You can flip it to get the other hand or animate it, just like what I did in the previous video. Give some animation, add some little touches, get some interaction, will make your video really pop out. Alright guys, that's all for this tutorial. Please feel free to ask me any questions through this email and let me know if you have any cool ideas to improve this product. If you purchased this script through VideoHive, you will get free updates. Thank you.